Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Lucas. And in today's world, there are so many new AI tools popping out left and right. And they're all very interesting. We want to try them for different tasks, right? For chatting or for generating something, for example. But they all have a have a price, right? Whether it be ChatGPT, Claude, Midjourney, Runway. You can end up paying a couple of hundred dollars for all of these different subscriptions. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about a centralized workspace that requires only one subscription. It's called i10x, where you can basically use and compare different LLM models. You can create end to end workflows and you can even create no code automation. So not only do you have the chance to cut your cost, but you also have one simple workspace where you can basically do everything in one place, which, you know, saves a lot of time. But before we dive into today's video, I'd love to invite you guys to my Discord community. We are a bunch of different startup founders, designers, developers from all around the world. And we get together every single day, um, every single weekday to talk about different topics, different tools, different challenges that we're facing. So if you guys are interested in joining us, link is down in the description below. So this is i10x's landing page. And as you can read in their hero section, all your AI needs in one place. So we have chat with AI, create images and videos, analyze documents, and there are 500 plus AI tools. And this is the thing that I'm really interested in. So if you go up here to the discover button, you can see all of the different integrations that i10x offers us. We have everything from, you know, simple chat GPT-5 to Google Nano Banana to background uh, image background removers, background changers, travel photo generators, but you also have more advanced integrations that help you with common or repetitive B2B tasks, like for example, cold outreach script generator or professional email writer or, or business plan generator or proof of employment generator. But the cool thing about this is that you can combine these different integrations to actually come up with a tailored automation just for you. And once you're logged in, the interface looks like this, where you, where you start off with an AI chat. And this is where you can basically choose any of the top LLMs to chat with. So you have everything from GPT to Gemini to Grok to DeepSeek, um, more GPT models. Uh, we have Meta Llama, Claude. And in the chat arena, we can use this to basically compare two different types of LLMs. So in this case, we can compare GPT-5 with Gemini 2.5 Pro. And a cool use case here would be like, you know, help me respond to this email. And I can basically paste the email that I get, click on send, and you can kind of go through the different responses that each uh, model gives you. So for example, ChatGPT gives me a concise reply and a more detailed reply. And Google Gemini 2.5 Pro gives me three different options based on interest. So if you're interested and want to schedule a meeting, if you're not interested, and if you want more information. So it's very interesting to kind of compare the two models and see what type of message you can choose. Also something very interesting is that I always tend to see these dashes in the ChatGPT responses and Gemini 2.5 doesn't really give me that. Anyways, the next thing that we have here is the AI image generator over here. So we have, for example, we could choose a model. In this case, the default one is Google Nano Banana, but we also have a, bu a bunch of cool ones as well. So we have GPT image one, Dolly and we have Flux Pro. So for example, this is me holding a sketchbook and I actually use images like this to create thumbnails. So it would be actually really cool if I can get like a, a sketch of like a wireframe into this notebook. So we can go ahead and add that to the prompt. And as you can see, in just a couple of, a couple of seconds, we get our image, the same exact image, but now as you can see a wireframe. So this would have actually been perfect for my thumbnail in my previous video. So you can eventually also use the same method to also eventually create thumbnails for your for your company's video resources, or you can even make it uh, use it to to make the like, consistent images in your site's website for for your team, for example. But all in all, with the two chats that we have started already, and with this image generator, I think we've saved around like 40 bucks already. And we're still in the beginning. Now the next tool here is the deep research tool which uses Perplexity Sonar Pro, which is an advanced live web reasoning assistance built for deep research and, and analysis. So basically, let's say that you have some type of business, you have direct competitors, and you're trying to figure out, figure out some type of like pricing model. You can use this to research on your competitors, whether it be direct competitors or indirect competitors. And, you know, with these different sources, uh, do, a, do a deep dive basically and 
come up with some type of pricing model that fits your business. So you can say, I run a business that allows you to build React landing pages with a no-code interface. I'm trying to come up with a pricing model for freelancers and for agencies. Research on three direct competitors and three indirect competitors on how they set up their pricing model. And based on the research, suggest a pricing model for our own business. So let's go ahead and send that. And so basically Perplexity gives us a list of direct competitors with their different pricing models. So they kind of range between 22 to 29 and 79. And then they have like these team prices over here that are, are a bit more uh, expensive. And then we have our indirect competitors. And then it comes up with patterns and options. And so it's like a deep dive, a deep research um, from what we asked it to do. And then it basically provides us with a suggestion, right? So we have our freelancer for around 19 to 29 a month or this uh, per year. And we have a professional plan, which is a little bit more expensive. So, and it gives us a, a justification as to why we should price it that way, which is pretty cool. Now, the next thing that we have is this chat PDF, which basically allows you to chat with different PDFs. I see this primarily as a, a great example for this would be to kind of analyze resumes, for example. So if you're hiring people and they send you PDFs of their different resumes and you get a bunch of different resumes, you want to just dump them in here. For example, we could just upload a file. So this, for example, ha contains different pages of different people um, with their own, um, with different resumes, right? So you have like a compilation of different resumes. So for example, you want to look at, let's say, Alex nonprofit, and you want to kind of scan him to see if he is you know, if this person is is uh, a good fit for your for your role that you're that you're asking for, or you can even give the AI the specific re requirements that this that this specific candidate has to fill for this role, and it can give you like a list of the, of the top th top three candidates, and you can basically call them for for an interview. So as you can see over here, I just say you know tell me about Alex on profit. It even gives us a source a source so page twenty four. Tells us who, who he is, uh, when they graduated, and so on and so forth, or where they graduated. Another great example of this tool is if you're working with NDAs and you want to see if there's something kind of weird in the NDA, you will kind of want to just bring this in here and ask the AI to help you analyze the NDA. Next up here is the AI video. So we have, for example, different models. Again, we can go ahead and grab, maybe we can get VO2, for example. And this is obviously a nice to have. I mean, you can do this, you can use this for like marketing purposes for like some type of campaign. Maybe you want to put like the face of the SE of the, of the CEO. And he's like, uh, I don't know, in a, in a crowd cheering or something, making something just to attract, uh, engagement. So I can go, you know, a man ripping a notebook in half five seconds. So let's just say that this is like a specific marketing campaign where I grab the notebook and I rip it in half. Let's see how that ends up looking like. So as you can see, that's me smiling and ripping the notebook apart. So it's a good, it's a good first try, but yeah, that's, that's how it, it kind of looks like. And obviously you can, you can download the video and you can change the format, the aspect ratio to be something different. So it fits like mobile devices, for example. Now, last thing that I want to talk about is this agent builder. So we have different agents. So right now I have no agents at all, but I can create an agent. And this is where things get fun. I can, for example, look at all of these different um, models. So we have, you know, chat models, we have image generation models, like, like flux, for example, we have these research ones. So I can, for example, click on one that has memory. So Claude 4.5 Sonnet, and then we can choose a category. So we, we can choose like, you know, business documents. So let's say that you want a specific agent or that's maybe like an intern that handles your NDAs or that handles contracts in your business. So we can go ahead and choose documents. And we can call him like Larry, Larry document, right? And we can give it a, a short description, like this agent reviews contract proposals and NDAs. And then for a custom prompt, we can, you know, give it something simple. Obviously you'd want to, you'd want to think more about this. I, I wrote, for example, review the attached doc documents for any potential issues. Give me a professional, but slightly sarcastic tone. And then once you're done, you basically publish the agent. Well, you have to first add an image. I'm going to give it some, some random image of a gradient over here with this greenish gradient. And let's go ahead and click on publish. And then you can use the, the AI agent. So here is where I can attach a specific contract. So I can, I'm going to just attract, uh, attach like a, a resume, for example, that we used before. And I'm just going to click on submit without adding any text. 
And then it basically gives us our the, the professional and sarcastic vibe over here for the first sentence, but it also gives us exactly what we're asking it for. And it gives us like the formatting inconsistencies, apostrophe catastrophes. So, so it basically gives us all of the information in the way that we ask the, the agent to, to provide it to us as. So basically sarcastic, professional, and also mentioning the different flaws that these that this specific document might have. And up here, you might see that has 0, 0.0 reviews. This specific agent is private, but you can go over here to the agent builder. And whenever you create a new agent and you choose something, let's say like we choose Google Nano Banana. And um, over here, we have this agent visibility. So, so if it's public, it means that it's available to everyone, meaning that it's in a, it'll be listed in a public marketplace. So when you go to discover and you choose one of these things like marketing and SEO or business, for example, you can see that all of these have different images. So marketing strategy generator, we have AI monetiza monetization strategy advisor. So all of these are different agents that have been released to the public and all have a specific rating. So if I were to, for example, choose one of these, like the Glo global tax optimizer, um, as you can see, it has 10 reviews with over with an overall score of 4.9 and the task is to easily compare global tax structures and identify the best countries to set up your business and eventually you can start adding all of these different agents to your um you know to your profile over here and eventually use these different agents for different purposes right for taxes for documents for reviewing things for helping you with marketing and so on and so forth and you don't even have to leave this place everything is going to be just here for you all of your different interns, your different AI interns are going to be waiting for you to do their job. So yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know down in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you next time. Goodbye.